ओम श्री साई राम आई ऑफर माय हम्बल प्रणाम्स एट द डिवाइन लोटस फीट ऑफ आवर मोस्ट लविंग लॉर्ड रिस्पेक्टेड एल्डर्स members of the organization dear sisters and brothers of sai family and my dear dear loving students thank you for the brand name sai sir it is so nice to be here <coughs> this thing we always feel privileged to be here and with this lovely group very devoted committed to swami swami's organization swami's work it is very rare to find such group spending time for swami is very important i always feel that whenever we are here without his wish without his will nothing happens i think today he brought me from prashanti nilayam which is divine kshetra to this wonderful place again swami second resident dharma kshetra this cannot happen without his will and his wish and i always feel that who is supposed to come also is swami nirnayam that is swami's decision i often feel many times we looking at god is important or god looking at us is important what do you feel about it i think you will all agree with me god looking at us is very important rather than we looking at god because every day we are doing it in our hall we are photograph In the party, we have photograph. In our altar, we have photograph. In the main entrance, we have photographs. Every day, we are coming across this photograph. We are seeing that photograph. But when you are seeing that photograph, what happens to us? Nothing happens. Why? In our house, table, chair, TV, VCR, laptop, photo. It has become like that. So even when you see the photograph, whom you love the most. there nothing happens in your heart the feel doesn't come that is why we all go to temple the reason why we go to temple is god looks at us when god looked at us there is some kind of vibration some positive energy that takes place so we go to the temple priest is standing in front of us just like we give aadhar card to the government we look at this priest and we give jeevan aadhar card to him we say something and the priest goes to the lord and stand in front of him and he says so and so lineage so and so star has come down to see your blessings because he seeing stars in his life he very badly needs your blessings and immediately what he does he takes the bell ting ting ting, ting. what is that calling bell calling god and then what he does he is showing the arati camphor light and then immediately we look at beautiful face the beautiful lotus eyes it may be rama it may be krishna it can be bappa it can be hanuman it can be devi whom ever you love you see that beautiful face that serene face that lovely eyes instantaneously something happens in your feeling something happen some joy some spiritual vibration some some kind of elevation in our feeling and we forget everything that one again we forget all the stars of the trouble which our priest was mentioning to god in reality brothers and sisters that is true night time we see plenty of stars next day morning when sun rises star vanishes do you think stars are not there stars are very much there but the sun rays becomes his grace and erase the stars in the day time because of his grace similarly with all the troubles when you look at this god his grace will always erase our trouble 
It is not that trouble is gone. Trouble may be there, but the trouble will not trouble you. He will see to it that trouble doesn't trouble you. I think that is why we need to go to temple and you are all coming here. And today, if you are all here, his drishti on this shrishti that is us has fallen. So we are all doubly blessed. Many people wanted to come, could not come. We can't make it. Why? He didn't will it. It has to happen. So therefore, his tea has fallen on this Srishti and got attracted. So we are all here because of his love and his grace. Many times, I feel in our life, many people come and suggest many things. In our pathway of life, it can be elders, it can be father, mother, it can be friends, it can be cousins, it can be neighbors. Everybody gives direction how to lead our life. But we listen to them. Sometimes it's okay. It will be some kind of joy. But most of the time, suffering, sorrow. I feel the best thing that we must all follow is let this Lord lead the way so today my topic is let love lead the way we will allow him to lead yes a i sai sai and i sai should be first i should be behind when he leads everything is cozy rosy comfortable everything will go on though we have troubles we will have troubles though we have troubles he will see to it 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 will be a sale in a highway, you will find speed breakers. Sometimes it is too big, so you slow down and go up. Nowadays, they made it small strips. We don't slow down. We just zoom around. finished. We are cleared. With God's grace, it can be cleared. All the trouble can be cleared just like that. But our Baba not be available that easily. Why? Hey, you want me to lead your life? Yes, Baba. There are terms and conditions. Baba, what are the terms and conditions? The first term and condition is what? Believe in love. Okay. Be in love. Then automatically you become love. So first you have to believe in love. What do you mean by believe in love? First we should get to know what is love. Swami's love cannot be explained in words. It's not adequate. But Swami's love can be only experience. You can only experience love. You can share your experience, but you cannot gauge, you cannot measure, you cannot quantify his love through words. It's impossible. So here we have all of us gathered. This love, in order to understand this love, to know this love, what Swami wants is today, I want to share with you all some of the personal experience and some of the interactions that we had with our beloved Bhagwan. You see, uh, we have gulab jamun. They fry it. It is very hard. No sweetness. But when you soak it in the sugar, after some time what happens, it becomes soft and it becomes sweeter. I think all of us, next one hour, let us soak in this divine love so that we will experience this love and will become that love and practice that in our life. <clears throat> we all students, we all know, we had beautiful interactions with Bhagawan in that small cute room called the interview room. So every time we gather in front of Swami and Swami will be always there and Swami will be reading the letters, whatever that he has gather from the deities and suddenly ah emi samacharumo uh, what's the matter what's the news so uh, what you can tell swami we just look at swami swami whatever you say then immediately swami will look ah tell me what is the matter what is the matter what we can tell swami then immediately swami said what do you want swami you me Yes, Swami. Really? You want me? Yes, Swami, we want you. Because we students staying there, we are very fast giving reply. 
instantaneously overflow of that feeling will come just like that will come so you are everything we want you and then Swami says if you want me take me I'm here you pray God offers but you are not in a position to honor yourself what is happening where will I take this God how will I keep him how will I look after him so just smile and look at Swami's face Swami understands our predicament our situation and again lovingly Swami asked why do you want me why do you want me immediately two minutes noodles in the noodles that takes two minutes but the students two seconds instant inspiration Swami we love you immediately we said Swami we love you oh you love me yes Swami are you sure yes Swami then Swami will ask is your love pure Yes, Swami. Selfless? Yes, Swami. Selfless, Swami. No, no, no. Chor, chor, chor. Sab chor. Your love is not pure. Your love is not selfless. Selfish. You always want your name, your fame, your power, your position, your money. And you in the society, you confuse everyone. Fish is better than selfish. Fish moves in the pond, cleans the pond. But you always do this. Confuse, confuse. In the process, your fuse goes and also get confused. That is your situation. Swami's love is pure love. I have no discrimination. No caste, no creed, no color, no race, no religion, no nationality. All are one. Be alike to everyone. My love is selfless love, Swami says. And that is what we try to practice, but it's very difficult. But what Swami wants is, unless and until you are selfless, you will not know what is this love. You should understand this love. So immediately we understood all that, we heard. Then we we'll say, Swami, how to develop that kind of unconditional love? Swami says, faith and patience. Whenever you want anything from God, first thing is you should have faith. That's why believe in love. You must have that faith. If you don't have faith, you can't proceed. Then whatever that you ask, God knows when to give you, when to bless you. So you need to have that. Sense. These two things we don't have. But whatever that we want, we expect, expect from God. That is why Nirasha, we always get into this trouble. So Swami says unconditional love. Actually, it is true. For example, if you see in our life, we believe everybody. I get a flight. And they say, welcome. The crew member says, welcome, sir. Welcome. And immediately I turn right and go to my row and want to settle down there. Anytime we turn left, go to pilot's cabin, ask, hello, pilot, how many flying hours are you at credit? Do you know how to take off? Do you know how to land? Do you take me safely? Do we ask? No. We just enter, turn right, and hunt for our location. That is the right attitude. Why? We have faith in that pilot. You get in the train, hunt for your coach, and get into your seat. You don't run towards the engine. Hello, my dear engine driver. Do you know how to drive between two rails? You will not go left and right. You don't ask because you have faith there. You get into a taxi, and you say, go to Bandra, but you don't go there. Do you have license? Petrol is there or not? Is there or not? You don't question him. You just sit down and a bandra. You go to hairdresser, saloon. Lend your head to him. And he has got sharp instruments. And you believe that he will cut your hair and not the throat. You believe barber, hairdresser. But we don't believe two things. Our own self and the almighty God. That is the problem. Everybody believe. That is part of our system. Nobody coached us, but spontaneously we believe, we trust. But when it comes to God, then it becomes a difficulty. Why that? So this is where that kind of belief that we should have. That's why Swami says, if you want me to lead life, first you must trust me. You must have faith in me. And if you have faith in this love, then this love will lead the way that you, wherever you want. I would like to narrate one of uh, our family uh, experience how when you really believe in God 
and trust in God and God will take care. In one interview, Swami was very jokingly was telling us, uh, this is a very interesting one. Swami said, what is the difference between newly love and the divine love? Swami said, newly married couple, today say, they are going to a park. So when they are going to the park, evening walk in the passage, suddenly husband noticed thorny bushes there. Honey, honey, yes, darling, what happened? See there, see there, thorny bush. Be careful, it will prick your lotus feet. Darling, I love you so much. Don't worry, I will take care of myself. Second Sunday, they are coming to the same park. Again, the same thorny, bush, thorny bushes were there. Yes, darling. Udar dekho. Yes, dekhta hai. Kya dekhta hai? Ah, dekhta hai. Be careful. Yes. The third Sunday, again they come. Again he sees them. Hello. Every time I'm telling, be careful, tawny bushes are there. Okay, don't prick yourself. Ah, yes, I'm seeing. I will be careful. Fourth Sunday. Don't you have sense? Look down and walk. You're looking at the sky. What will happen if you prick your... Yes, yes, I am walking. I know. I know Tony Bishops are there. Then the next Sunday comes. Let it prick her. She will know. Every time I miss, let it prick her. That lousy feet. The lotus feet became lousy feet. Same couple. Same park. Same path. Same tiny bushes. What happened? The law of diminishing marginal utility. The more you get, it comes on. And Swami says, this is typically the worldly love. It is not love, it is infatuation. Ever-changing, temporary. This is external. Then Swami, how is it supposed to be? It is supposed to be this way. Where you would ask, God, will you be always with me? Yes, my dear, I will be always with you. What is the guarantee that you are always me? If you doubt me, turn back and see. Wherever you are walking, you will find four footprints. And the devotee was walking and watching every time four footprints were there. When she was happy, four prints were there. When everything was positive, four prints were there. When the trouble comes and she is having great trouble, and that time she turns back, only two are there. Oh God, you ditched me. When I was happy, when I had everything, when I turned back, you are following me. Now I am in trouble. I wanted help. I am crying for you. And when I turn back, only two I am seeing. You are a big ditcher. I should, should believe you at all. Where are you? And then God taps and tells, Hello, my dear. The two, two footprints, what you are seeing, is not yours. That is mine. You are in trouble, and I am carrying you in my arms. And what you are seeing is not your footprints, it is my footprint. This is what precisely happens in all our life. When trouble is there, we always feel God is forsaken, God is forgotten actually no because all of us have this karma all of us have to go this wash our karma correct so when we are doing this of uh, washing our karma we feel that god is with you no god is with you unless you have that believe in love that faith is not there nothing can be achieved this carrying part how swami is selfless and his love is selfless one day my wife was complaining about back pain so we thought okay some catch usually you know we think it is a catch or a sprain or a spam muscle spam you know like that as usual we apply a bomb this and that nothing happened pain started increasing little by little and uh, one fine morning she was very bad condition was very bad and i had no option i took her to gh 
and the doctor then or, or we never had orthopedic department in super special hospital so gh they saw they took one x ray they said no they nothing to worry and they increased the moral in you by giving you a tablet called kai moral <clears throat> Only the morale they will increase. You eat kai moral, the, everything will be fine. So you took the tablet, you came back, and then you enjoy eating that kai moral and boost your own morale. But the pain is not going. Pain is aggravating. And finally, what happened? It was so bad. One day she just could not get up from the bed. It was very difficult. So I had to feed her on the bed. I have carried her to the restroom. It was so worst condition. Usually, when our such situation come, where do we go? Dina Bandava, Sri Sai Deva. We have to go there. But I couldn't go there. Because he himself had surgery and he was recovering. I told my wife, I can't go and pray God now. How it will be? He's recovering i go and tell my wife is not well she's not able to work. she also said no no please don't disturb swami we will manage swami look after we will manage so we kept quiet but it became worse and she start crying crying so much of pain i don't know what to do and then finally every in a week three times dr sundareshan used to come to check on Swami from Bangalore. Personally, I know a nice gentleman. I requested my wife is not well, something's wrong. Can you come and help? He said, Why not? I will come. He came home, gentleman, came home all the way, and uh, conversation between doctor and patient is over. And they know the orthopedic, they have their own technique to evaluate the patient's condition. Uh, they came, uh, he came and uh, just touched the toe. She started screaming. And then something more, she started screaming more, even more. And he said, Sai, this is not a catch. This is not a sprain. This is something more, something to do with spine. So you better take her to Bangalore Super Special Hospital and uh, do MI, put the data in the CD and get it back. And I mean, after two days, we will review this. I said, okay, with great difficulty, some more age to take her there. And there also our students are there, very kind, very loving. They helped us. They put the data into the CD. And then I asked what men. And you know, boys are so loving. They don't want to disturb me and my feeling. He said, sir, some small thing. Uh, you know, Dr. Sundarajan will explain to you. Nothing to worry. Very cleverly, they put it. I said, okay, fine. I came back. And the sir came put CD and uh, he showed me a picture and he said this L4, L5 spine disc prolapsed disc. L4, L5 prolapsed. You see half the disc is outside. This is crushing the nerves and that's why she's having this kind of pain and any movement will be very bad. And uh, Sai, if you leave it finished, she'll be on wheelchair rest of her life. She's young man. You have to do something. I said, doctor, what I should do now? Surgery. Who will do? I do. There you will do, doctor. G H in Bangalore, Swami's hospital. I will arrange everything. I will get it done. But she needs a surgery. Otherwise, it is very risk. Don't delay more. Then I told, I do everything only with the permission of Swami. Can I tell Swami? Yes, please write letter. Tell Swami that she needs a surgery. Can I also say that you will do surgery? Please inform Swami that I will do. Fine. I wrote a letter, I sent the next day, I wrote a letter, I sent a letter, five minutes later, the duty boy comes out and gives me 11 Vibhuti packet and I asked any message. He said, no message, Swami told me to give this to you. I said, okay, fine. Came back, room, no message. We'll see bhajan time when Swami comes. So usually I sit near the bhajan hall door and that day Swami came a little earlier than the boys, uh, you know, couple for that. And then Swami looked at me, hey, he said. I ran. Yelaudi, how is she? Swami, very bad. She's singing. And I have to feed her. Everything she's eating like this and everything on the bed, it becomes very difficult for me. How many? Swami, more than two, three months over me now. Very bad condition. Dr. Same Chaptaru. What is doctor's opinion? They said, Swami, surgery. Surgery? Swami. And Swami came in that buggy car, battery car. 
and Swami was holding the duty boy's hand, bending like that. 30, 40 seconds, Swami didn't speak. He was looking at that interview room door. He was just about to enter, looking at the interview room door like that, seriously thinking. And then suddenly he created Vibhuti and gave it to me in my hand. And he said, put half in her mouth and apply half from here to here. I never mentioned all these. Things. Which leg I didn't say, where the pain I didn't tell. But you know, Swami exactly is telling, Ikkad ninchi, ikkad work, to work, pusi say. Other half you apply everywhere. Tell her, no surgery. I will tell her, no need of surgery, Swami said. I said, okay, Swami. I sat there. Hey, buddhi ledu. Go now. Go and do it. So immediately I ran home and then I put half in her mouth and then I applied whatever Swami said, I did that. Then I came running for evening bhajans. Bhajan got over, Swami smiled, nothing happened, it was normal. And usually everything that I have to help her on the bed. And that day we finished our dinner, we were sleeping. And whenever I sleep subconsciously, you know, anything that she wants only I have to do. There is no one else in the house to do. Around between 12-15, something that range, suddenly, crack! I heard this sound. You know, if you take a dry twig and if you break it, what will happen? Crack! That sound came. I jumped from my cot, switched on the tube light. I said, damn it, this girl has broken her spine. Finished. Till then, we didn't know it was bone problem. We all the time seeing muscle problem. After doctor told all these things, then I thought after hearing the sound, finish. She has broken her spine. Then uh, she was opening her mouth, she was like this angle, did you hear? I said, what do you mean by did you hear? That's why I jumped and switched on the light. What did you do? No, I just wanted to turn, I just little bit I did, I don't know this sound came. I said, Are Baba, 12.30 midnight, which doctor will come and we are in E floor, what will happen? How are you? What is your condition? Is there pain? In this angle she said, no pain. You do one thing ma'am, you sleep like that only. Five o'clock, I will run and try to get to one doctor. But till then, you don't move at all because we don't know what happened. So I put my pillow, I put, opened the almara, took four or five saris, rolled like pillow, full padding, so that she will not do anything. She will only have to sleep like that. Dear brothers and sisters, after two, three months, both of us slept, slept, and slept. When I opened my eyes, after 2.30, when I opened my eyes, it was 9 o'clock. I have to go to my campus. 9 o'clock. Uh, damn it, I'm already late. So immediately I rushed, got myself ready, made a coffee, and then slowly I woke her up. How are you? I said, in this angle, no pain. Okay. Then puzzle started. I removed one one sari, my pillow, this one, and very seriously looking face. Anything any expression comes, you know, full tension. My heart was here because anything, I can't do anything more than that, okay? So finally, she was quiet. I unpacked her, literally. And she did not even cry. She did not even say anything. Then I gave support to her back and slowly lifting, watching her expression. Everything was calm and quiet. Then I said, I don't know what happened. Tomorrow, Sundarshan sir will come. You please, two days you be like that only till he comes. And then I brought bucket. There only she brushed everything. There itself I gave coffee, everything. I said, Amma, Madam, please don't do anything. Till doctor comes, let us not take any chance. Next day doctor came. He asked, have you informed Swami? I said, yes sir, I informed Swami. Swami said, surgery vodhu nen choose kuntanu. No surgery, I will take care. He created vibhuti told her to do like this and I did. Midnight the sound came. After that this lady is like this. I don't know what happened, whether spine is together or separate, I, that also I have no known. So immediately doctor came, he checked and touched the toe. She's quiet. Then he was holding and lifting her. Seven inches the leg came up. After that she started yelling. Then he left it, he said, I don't understand, two days back condition was different and two days now the condition is different. I don't know, Baba has done something, but I am telling you I am a doctor. She needs surgery. But Swami said, I will take care. Now she is not my patient, she is Swami's patient. But Sai, 
एनी टाइम एनी थिंग हाफ एन आवर आई कैन डू सर्जरी आई विल टेक केयर बट गिव अर दिस पेन किलर एंड गिव ऑल द टैबलेट इवेंट फ्रॉम दैट डे ऑनवर्स द प्रोग्रेस स्टार्टेड every time in a week at least two days three days swami will ask me how we how we she as swami she is recovering she is recovering meanwhile her brother her sister her mother everybody said what are you doing puttaparthi no orthopedic department you come to bangalore we have best of the doctors we will do you will make all right you come you come and sai you already am teaching how you can handle this lady i said atma i do not know you can talk to her whatever her wish and i am not i will not refuse because you are daughter so they try to convince this girl and she said amma i am not coming baba told me he will take care i am safe here than in bangalore i will not come i will listen to only baba said believe in love you have to have that kind of belief i don't know whether i have or not she had that day the conviction she had and from that day the change started she felt very bad sai every day you are going for bhajan and coming i am not able to hear bhajan within one week swami said mic speakers petandi and then that is the time the speakers were started you know in it was still west 3 and then it came to west 5 north everywhere it came that's how he started sai you are every time having and sitting in front of swami for bhajan i am not having darshan that time venkatreddy was a uh, si and uh, swami once week used to come inside the mandir in the bagar and when when sai signal sound comes she will hold the window and have swami's darshan see whatever that needed need of the hour it was taken care by bhagwan and then swami instructed me tell her to be so time will come she will be all right and let her not come to mandir a when i call she should come I said yes swami usually swami distributes sarees <laughs> birthday time and uh, on 17th 18th swami called four of us we were there inside bales and bales of you know saree bundles will there usually we cut and we'll unpack we'll segregate we uh, by the color and all uh, because for anantapur girl for primary school teachers you know guests like that so that year one red color saree had come swami was wondering what is this red color saree open and swami was sitting there swami is holding one edge and the four of us were you know like uh, that shamiana side is you know like that we were holding and showing swami it was red color with golden print flowers were there em mo chestaru sam em mo padtaru em bagaledu like swami some funny funny prints and they are doing like that swami are then he said fold fold and give a hey, he called me and he gave me that sari told me give it to your wife tell her to come tomorrow for darshan <laughs> see sai baba has better things to do sai baba has big work to do who are my but he becomes part of your family all this remember devo devotees when he talks to you he is in your family when he talks to me he is in my family that is the love that is why his love is selfless and that is why he is like sugar candy and we are like ants running behind that sugar this only few people have that bliss that kind of blessings to know understand and enjoy that bliss of this beautiful lord and then somehow managed she came and she sat and swami looked at her and blessed her now dear brothers and sisters 18 years passed by only instruction is should not sit down but sit on the chair and she is here i want to bring her here and she is here with me not a blade not a blade of grass will move without my will no blade can touch you without his will his will blade never touched us only the grace touched us for that what is the condition believe in love if you believe if you trust then i will take care so that is a beautiful uh, uh, episode that we always had 
and I will always remember because in my life I always kept Swami first. When uh, when I was a student, I still remember one day Swami called then uh, uh, and he told that uh, Nityananda Menon was the ward at that time. Swami sent word in 1980. Uh, tell Sai not to ask anything from his parents. Not oka paisa uda ada kurdu. Not even one paisa he should take from his parents. Tell him he is my son. I will take care of him. Whatever that he wants, he should ask me and not parents anymore from today on. Tell him I will take care. This is what Swami wants me to convey and I convey to you. You are his son and anything that you want, you must ask and never ask anything from your parents. Tomorrow morning, sit in the front line and take his blessings. I said, okay. I went, I sat. Swami straight came to me. Give me namaskar. Nienchu skuntanu. He told. From that day, brothers, the world is not for me. My world is Sai. For five years, I am there. I am always there. All my classmates, even today, they envy. Sai, you are the only guy, man. After studying also, you are still sticking to Swami. You are so lucky. We were that we left the place. We left Swami. We left everything. I said, that is Swami's wish. That is Swami's will. And I didn't want to get married. He got married. She didn't want to get married again. That is another big story. My son was born there. And Swami wanted him to become a doctor. Again, he did. Everything, Swami was leading my life. And I surrendered to him. And that is what today also, if you are respecting me, you are calling me out loud, who gives me that respect? Who gives that love? It is only through him it can happen. So believe in that love and surrender to that love. One day we were all sitting there in the interview room. Swami, you make people walk. You say cancer, cancel. It is cancel. People who are troubled, you say trouble will not trouble you and it never troubled. You did so many. You cured diseases, you brought back day to life. We are feeling very sorry for Swami to be on the wheelchair and suffering. Eh? Aim to now. Yes, Swami. We are upset. We are feeling very bad to see Swami like this. Because I have seen Swami from a young age. He used to just, old videos you must have seen. A deer, just very fast walking, very brisk, very active. Such a Swami, simply made to sit on the wheelchair and the boys are pushing. It was not that sight which we never even dreamt of. But when we said, the Swami said, Ray, nature has to follow its rule. Imi, nenu kashta nana anukuntu nara. Do you think I am suffering? No. My body is different from me. What you are seeing is my body. I am not the body. So I don't suffer. Whatever that happens, it happens to my body. That's all. You know, nature, nature has its own rules. Do you know who created nature? I created nature. And nature, when it follows its rule, I also have to follow the same rule. Policeman says, keep left. Can policeman go opposite side? And he goes, what will happen? Finished. That is the last time he will be driving. Similarly, when I made the rule, even I also have to follow the rule. Just because I can change the world, just because I can do many things, I can't cure myself. If I do that way, what is the difference between you and me? What a beautiful statement. What is the difference between you and me? My love is selfless, but can do anything for you. I can bring back life for you. I can give fortune to you. I can change your fate. But for me, I am not supposed to do. Then we ask Swami, if that is the case, what we can do for you? Swami only said, your prayers are my cure. Your love is my cure. Just do that and I will feel very happy. And that is what brothers we were doing. We had a vibrant bhajans. And when we sing there, there were days I used to do the Pada Seva and bhajans will be going on. And Swami will forget himself. 
See, our prayers is the cure. He enjoys that and he forgets whatever that is happening around him, you know, that kind of, that level of feeling which all of us have seen Swami living every word that he is. That is why Satyam is my prachar. Whatever I speak is the truth and that's the beautiful Lord that we always have. Some devotees, Sai sir, uh, you are very close and uh, you pray and then your prayers are answered. Why my prayers are not answered? Yeah, it's a valid question. But the prayers, if you say that it has to answer, uh, it's not like a question paper, correct? No. When we go to the examination, all our question papers will be similar. But in life examination, your question paper is different, my question paper is different. All our question papers cannot be same in our life. Your syllabus is different, my syllabus is different. Your subject is different, my subject is different. Why dear? Why like that? It is like that because we frame our syllabus for the next life. God only puts the seal and sign, this is the destiny for your life. So that is why Swami says, love all, serve all. What you want to do, you do. And see the love in others. Help ever, hurt never, though you are changing syllabus. So it becomes very, very easy to survive in the next generation. So many times when this question comes, Swami says, I have three reasons why your prayers are answering or not answering. The first thing is, whenever you pray, do you have the faith to pray? We just pray without praying. For example, there is a bus in front of me. It is going to go to Juhu Beach. And I want to go to Juhu Beach. And I stand there. Will you go to Juhu Beach? Will you go to Juhu Beach? You go to Juhu Beach and it is already gone to Juhu Beach and you are there only. All our prayers are like that. Will you help me? Will he grace me? Will, he, will you bless me? Will you bless me? We are there only and he's gone. God gives you an opportunity. Snatch it. Hold on to him. But by the time you decide, God will not wait for you. Right? Faith is very important. As I told you, know, we believe everybody, including the barber and lend our head. But we don't believe in ourselves and we don't believe this beautiful law. The second reason is, Sai sir, I have faith. With full faith and conviction, I am praying. But still, Baba never answered my prayer. Why? When God looks at you, His own creation, you are His creation. When God looks at you, God knows your past. God knows your present. God also knows your future. We forget our past. We are living in the present. Bleak future, nothing. We do not know what is going to happen tomorrow morning. But since God knows all that, and you have so much of faith in Him, so much of love in your prayer, God comes rushing to bless you. But when He sees you, He sees your past, He sees your present, and He sees your future. Past is past. Forget past, Swami says. Print is very important. Because your future is in the present, but you are very happy right now. But in future, conditions are not going to be good. You are going to face turmoil, some trouble in your life. Then God feels, anyway, he is happy right now. He doesn't need blessings, but he is praying for my blessings. He is happy, but it is needed in the future. So I will bless him when he needs it, when during time of trouble, and he will not know that he's going to trouble. It just goes smoothly for him. And that is what God postponed to answer. But he never denies. He never denies that. But we fail to understand why God is not answered. The third one is, sir, with full conviction and praying, but God is not answering my prayer my dear many times in our life when we pray we do not know what we are praying for is good or bad for our life just like that pray 
We see the neighbor man is running in BMW. I want BMW. You know, we always live in this competitive world. So what is happening? I am praying and he is not honoring my prayer. He is not answering my prayer. But God, with full of love for you, because you have so much of faith in him and you love him so much, God, what he feels is, hello, my dear, what you are asking for is not good for you. Don't ask, but God cannot speak to you. But what he will do? Not answering your prayer is also an answer. God's rejection is your protection. He is rejecting not because he doesn't like you, not because there is no faith or favor in your uh, flavor in your prayer. It is there, but I know it is not good for you. You are asking a wrong one. Many times in your life, please rewind your life. You would have asked something, and after one year or two years, or maybe even after five. Years, Thank God that did not happen in my life, yeah. I was a crazy guy asking for that. If only if that would have happened, I would have ruined my life. Bulb glows. When? After five years or ten years. But that day, I don't believe this Sai Baba. I am asking, he's denying. I'll change the party. I go to Shirdi Baba. Shirdi Baba also same. I will change the party. I will go to Rama, Krishna. We have multiple choice. In examination, we have four, but you have a list here. But by the time you complete your list, God makes you realize that I did good for you. That is the beauty of our Lord. So please always remember, in spirituality, no comparison. Don't compare in spirituality. Like that. No, don't do that. God, he gave me interview, he did not give, he gave me a ring, he did give. I'll, I'll tell you one more uh, uh, very funny situation. We used to feel as a student, there was one boy, <laughs> he will never attend Subhrabhatam. Okay. But when he goes to Mandir, hey, come here. So, so like that. And the Swami creates Vibhudi and give, call Papa, Mama. Papa ko the safari, mamma ko patusari, interview after in bracelet, ring, chain, ah, full hangama. And this fellow will be opposite in the hostel. Never follow anything. One day in the interim, ah, kya samachar, bolo, you know, Tommy always that. The, that day, we decided to slowly ask Swami, ah, Chapura. Swami should not feel hey, Swami Adanti, You can ask anything, don't feel anything. So immediately, slowly, Swami, we all do sincerely prayer, Om Karam, Suprabadam, Bhajan, routine, very disciplined we are. We are very disciplined. But a guy who doesn't follow rules and regulations, you give him ring after ring, chain after chain, family package you are giving, full family package. Oh, Adhya ni doubt Oh, yes, that is the doubt for you. <laughs> then Swami said, Oh, then Swami said, See man, the people who come and receive many things from me will not last long. Do you have a bank account? Yes, Swami. Do you withdraw? Yes, Swami. How many times you can? Only whatever money is there, you can withdraw. After what happens, accounts closed. So this boy, whatever he has done in his past, I see past, present and future. There we have only tense, that is tension is our tense. Our tense is tension. But God has past, present and future tense. He is not tensed. He just follows the rule of the game. So Swami says, he is withdrawing. And one fine morning, you see, he will not be there. Yes. I have seen many, we all have seen many such cases. Two years, three years vanished. Till now, they never stepped into Prashanti Lene. So, gone, account closed. No need of any other card, pan card, no, no. Card is gone. It's all over. Then what about Swami? Then Swami said, you are depositing now. You do the deposits. The more you do deposit, 
a time will come with interest, God will give your package back. <laughs> this is the beauty of our Swami. Highest philosophy in a very simplest manner. He, even a baby can understand this. That is the love of Swami. We really miss him nowadays. Be in love. So believe in that love. Okay, we all believe now. He is our goal, he is our everything. Be in love. What do you mean by be in love? After understanding that love, you have to be parallelly enjoy and living with that love is be in that love. Nature is a very good example for all of us. How? Have you seen a plant or a tree? Whenever it wants to give, first comes what? A bud. Bud becomes flower. The flower becomes small, unripe fruit. Then semi-ripe. And then fully ripened fruit. Correct? So when you see that, what do you understand? There is transformation taking place. So what you see is a bud. Then slowly, slowly, you see the fruit in the end. Ripe fruit. In nature, my dear brothers and sisters, transformation takes place two levels. Physically, internally. Physically, what you saw from bud, slowly, slowly, it changed into a ripe fruit. Internal, what you saw, sourness, sweetness. Anything that you take in nature, it follows that trend, except human race. What we do? We are born as a child. We need support because we can't do anything. And we become old. Again, we can't do anything. We need support. Initial stage also, we need support. End also, we need support. The only time is what? The middle path. But the middle path, we are not bringing any transformation. The transformation happens in us. How? Externally. How, sir? When you are small, you are having feeding bottle. You are growing. Transformation. You are having Coca-Cola bottle. FC bottle. Transformation. You are growing further. You have brandy bottle, whiskey bottle. And you are still growing. In the end, you have saline bottle. Which is very pure. Very clean. That is the time jnana comes. Enlightenment comes. Clarity comes. Because that bottle has clarity water. Clean water. Till then, our water is all colorful. Life was colorful. Everything was colorful. When everything fades, evades, dies, clarity comes. Where? Saline water. That time we say, damn it, I wasted my life. Because God is telling, come my baby, come. You turn back, I didn't do anything, God. That is too late. Then, how, I sir, what we can do? My dear brothers and sisters, this transformation, not only inside, Swami wants, so not only outside, Swami is inside also. How it can be done? Swami has given so many opportunities. You can be a Balavika teacher or a Balavika student. You have Seva Del, you have Bhajans, you have Vedam, you have meditation, you have Yogasana, you have medical camp, Narayan Seva. Oh my God, so many choices giving. Kali age, God gives you choice. In olden days, Yajna, Tapas, stand upside down for thousands of years for God to come. We don't have that much time. In Kali age, you do you know how God made our life easy? But 10 rupees coupon, go to South Indian and Kapni, 281 vada, hot coffee, come and sit, and God comes and gives you that. You see? You see that? In spite of making our life easy and cozy, but still, we are never rosy. We are thorn under the rose. Swami wants us to become rosy. So this is where God has given all these opportunities. Why Swami wants us to do? Because transformation. Live example I am giving. Why are you here? Satsang. What are we doing? I came all the way from Shantilinim. You came all the way from your house. You have your own commitment. You have your own. You can enjoy. But everything you left and you have come here. We are in love. 
Bhagwan. Because of that love attracted you. Because of that love, I am here. This is what Swami says: be in love. We are part of the world, but still we are enjoying His grace. A beautiful example I want to tell you. How doing these activities? Do you think Saisa will connect uh, God to us? All these activities what Baba has given? Absolutely. Now you are connected. Are you thinking of your office, your commitment, your flow chart, your cash inflow, cash outflow? Nothing. You are only thinking of God. What Leela that he has done. What all mischiefs he has done. How all he brought changes in our people, in our life. We are with God. Be in that love. Swami took us to Kodakinal, 1986, we were the first batch. Swami picked up uh, 17 students, I was one of the uh, boy, and uh, Swami and my son then uh, warden uh, called us to the room, then we were sitting there. I was sitting there, 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 like that Swami told. I am going to cry and uh, I have bought a bungalow there and I want to take some boys to Kodakinal. Said, very nice Swami, what a nice, we felt very happy, very nice Swami, very nice Swami. Then Swami looked at me and said, uh, Who will be good take? I said, Swami, how can I say Swami? That is your decision. Chepura, I said, Swami, I can't tell who should be, whomever you want. Naktusu nu tepu, you tell, he will, you can't escape from him, eh? tell, tell like that. Then, see the beauty of my personally living with Swami is, Swami wants to see every time his thought, your thought is matching or not. If that matches, it is like match stick, there's fire, there is you know, light, and that is enlightenment. And this Swami has been trying with everyone. I'm sure everybody would have been a part of the game. He's a great mind player. Mind game. So he asked me. Then I thought, usually anything you start new, Swami is like a child. Things start new, no? Ah, Achinda, Adi Bhagunda, is that good? How is it going on? Swami is always eager. What was new that time? We all applied for PhD research. That is new. Swami, maybe we can take research scholars. Ah, Adde, Adde, Swami said. Swami, if you don't mind, we can take research scholars. That is what even I also thought, Swami said. Then again, in that selection process, who should be taken? So, Bhajan boy should be there, one uh, singer should be there, one singer should be there, all that. Vidatla, Vadetla, so big list was made. Everything was done. And now what is the number? He said, Swami, 16. Um, okay. Nuvastava, will you come? Swami, how can I tell I will come? Emi, nikishtam liya. Why you, you don't like coming to Swami, how can I tell Swami, put my name also? I am, I am writing the list. Eh? Swami, can I write my name also? First thing, show the door, get out of my place. So I said, Swami, how can I tell? That means you don't have interest to come to me. Swami, I am not telling that. Swami, you, if you decide, it will all happen. Whatever you say. Ah, Raso. Ah, right. So I wrote my name. Then finally, 17 it became. Beautiful time. First trip, 1986. We went to Kodakana. That's a big story. I only one incident I want to tell related to be in love. What is Swami finished... Uh, uh, breakfast, he went for one round around the lake and he came back. Hey, Sai Suresh, Sai Suresh. He ran. <coughs> Get the, the uh, lake, the gra, uh, abai, small abai, what hat am to nadu. Mirandru, what the gra will hat konandi. I said, Yes, Swami, there is a small boiling hat near the lake. All of you go and purchase hat from that boy. Yes, Swami. And then Swami asked for Radha Krishna to get the money and Swami distributed 200 rupees to all of us. We took money from Swami and then uh, Basu, Bas came, we got it, hey, he said, we ran. No bargain. Don't bargain from that boy. How much ever he is asking? You give. 
I said, yes, Swami. Hey, yes, Swami. Buy only from that boy. There are so many others there. Don't buy from others. Yes, Swami. Ha, go. So then we got into the bus. We went. Unfortunately, everywhere we went, everybody is there except the little one. He is not to be seen. He is not there. So we are running, running and asking everybody, where is the small boy? Sir, you buy from me, sir. No, 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 where is the small boy? Then finally we located that, somebody told that he went into this lane. So we rushed and we saw that small boy with the trolley and we ran and he was surprised. Imagine in white and white, 17 fellows are chasing him, means uh, uh, tsunami for him. Are yaar. Then he said, what do you want? Are you all Sai Baba students? Sai Baba students? Yes, yes, Sai Baba students. We want hat. Unfortunately, 17 hats were not there. He said, five minutes, sir, five minutes, I'll come back. My house is here only. I'll get some more hats and you can select the best ones. So he left the trolley to us and he went five minutes over, 10 minutes over, 15 minutes over. The boy had never turned back and we are standing as we are selling hats there. All are looking white and white with a hat. What is happening to these guys here? So we are only waiting. One side, if you go late, be ready for the program. And if you don't buy, again you be ready for the program. So we are cross with Swami. I'll tell you my personal experience of 45 years with him. It is like walking on razor's edge. One day Swami looked at me and he told me, Ray, Swami and a Yeman Kuntao, what do you think Swami means? Fire. If you come closer to me, you will get burnt. If you go far away, you will be unnoticed. But stay at a distance. Enjoy the warmth of this love. That is what Swami told. And very carefully, I have been following and survived till, till today in Prashantilim with that only. So that is what Swami for us. So we have already got AK-47 many times. So I know if you don't buy also, gun is ready. If you go late also, gun is ready. So we do not know what to do. Finally, the boy came, came with the hats, and then we started selecting that. Then he said 25 rupees. Then he said, we'll give you a little extra. So we gave 30, 30 rupees. We could give more also. Who told you to give more? He said, Aapka paisa? Amara paisa, aapka paisa, that also is a problem. So everything is a questionable only. So little bit, so 30 rupees we give, and then we came back. Why before coming, I had this inquisitive nature. You know that question, why pets are not answered? I was also like that. So I asked this boy, hey, do you know Sai Baba? Yes, sir. 15 minutes back, he came this way, sir. He saw me. I ran. He looked at me. He did like this and smiled at me, sir. Very good. You pray, Sai Baba? Yes, sir. I pray. How? Then that little one put his hand in the pocket, removed old uh, uh, purse in that old Indian Express in Asbury. Swami was giving a speech. That color photograph was crumpled, crushed, it was inside his purse. And he opened that purse and he said, Sir, this word I pray every day. We all put our head down. You see? That is the beauty where Swami can go to any level to please his students. So we came back and uh, we thought we'll also give something to Swami. We bought, all of us bought roses to give to Swami. Because Swami gave us a gift, something we have to give. So we bought roses. Swami looked and he's asking me questions. Yantai chau, homo gave. Swami said 25, change not there. So he made it 30 and gave. Ah, mandi, manchidi. Good, good. Yandu kinta letu. Why so late? Swami, very less was there. He went to his house and came. That is why late Swami. Ah, manchidi, manchidi. See, Swami will be looking, but so many questions will be going on and I have to keep on answering all that. And then the beautiful Swami, the lesson that we learn is there is no distance in true love. That Swami says, no, 
I love everybody. No caste, no creed, no color, no language, no religion, no nationality. All are one. Be alike to everyone. That's a beautiful message of Swami. And he lived up to it. That's the beauty of it. That is why we adore him. That is why we accept him as divine love. So here he took photograph. And then that time I realized we are near it far. That boy is very far but spiritually very close to him. Physically we were dining every session. Physically we are near. Spiritually we are not near. But that guy is not near. But spiritually he got connected to Swami. That's a beautiful lesson. Be in love. That is a lesson that you have to learn. Next is become love. Last one. Become love. How you can become love? First, believe in that love. And be in that love. How you can become that love? If I were to give you sandalwood or if I were to give you jam flowers to hold you for a few seconds and then I cut it back from your hand and then I ask you to smell, what do you smell, jasmine? What do you smell, sandalwood? Is that in your hand? No. But how? Association. You just kept in your hand for a few seconds, it smells jasmine. Swami kept us for so many years. What are we smelling? We should smell and enjoy this love. Become that love. Sir, how to become this love? Because Swami was love walking on two legs. We have seen that. So the beauty of Swami is, Swami is relates to everyone, to every life. Anybody goes to interview room, no? They, feel Swami, they own Swami. And Swami also becomes part of their family. Everything else. Everybody feels that. Why? Because sugar is like that. If you take one chamcha, if I take one chamcha, it is sweet for you, it is sweet for me. The quantity can vary. The quality will never divine. Why? Because that is the love. We have to become that divine love. Swami always says, share, share. The more you share, the aspect of love, the attribute of love will get more and more in your system. Only when you give, there is joy. You will enjoy that joy. So here, Swami always says that when you share, you become that love. Many times you must have seen someone is very hungry and he's asking something. You buy a bun or a biscuit and give him and see on his face, gratitude. The peace on his face. See that expression and see your attitude. You feel very happy. What made you happy? Give made you happy. Give and forgive. Correct? That is what Swami taught us. And that is how Swami has, we have to live. In yourself, remove you. In yourself word, first word is what? Why? What is that why? You. You remove you from yourself, that is your ego, your I, what remains is ourselves. So when you become ourself, that means what you do. There is no discrimination, there is no difference, there is no big or small, there is no rich or poor. Just like Swami treats all of Prema Swarupullara, Divyatma Swarupullara, embodiments of divine love. That's what Swami says. What he sees, you and me, is not our name, our fame, our power, our position, our money. He sees in you and me the love what he gave us. He's searching for that love. That is what is this Baba is all about. So, we yes, discard that I, then it becomes very easy to enjoy his love. There is a small situation where these two people are yelling at the top of their voice. And the Guruji was crossing on that side. And he looked at that Sisha, the disciple, and he said, Hey, why is he shouting? Guruji is upset. But why is he shouting? Because he is angry. But why is he shouting? Guruji, that is the only way you can express your anger. You have to shout top of your voice. But why? He is deaf. He is standing next to him. Is he deaf? He can't hear what? He can hear, is it? Yes, Guruji, he can hear. Then why is he shouting? No answer. 
then the guruji looks at the sishya hills when the hearts are very far you need to shout when the hearts are very close you don't need to shout that is why when you love somebody words fail or only expressions come when the heart is very far there is nothing to express nothing to show except yelling at the top of your voice when the mind karma is attached to the mind it leads to bandage to bondage if the same karma if you attach to your heart it's become inspiration and it becomes love perfect love pure love that is why he says feel from here and not from here deal from here and not from here but we give priority here and not here in god's creation if you see heart is inside head is on always top everywhere you see anything you see heart is down so when we hear swami said take it inside but don't take it up if you go up your ego will go up everything will be pelmel this is what swami wants us to practice that's why swami says you may not always oblige but you can speak obligingly and here one example before i wind up become loud and you know beautiful narayan seva used to go on swami used to spend crores of rupees for narayan seva all the campus mudanalli campus brindavan campus santapur campus primary school higher secondary school boys institute boys everybody will be joining in this massive as that is not one day it is for 10 days so morning used to get up go in that lorry go to village hundreds of villages and each village we have 200 300 houses we used to go to every house entha mandi you will say five 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 food do one sari one dhoti and they will feel very happy and every village they will put toranam they will put rangoli welcoming us so much of hangama used to go on and we used to enjoy all that and we used to feel how swami inspires these people villages they have nothing but you know the inspiration that they have the joy that they feel and one boy usually after finishing we come back to mandir no uh, satsang will go on so boys will ask me some questions some experience we used to share one day sir i have one doubt i said oh, ah tell me what you want you should not feel upset why man doubt is you why i should feel upset you tell me your doubt i said no if i tell something you should not mistake me that i am finding fault with swami or swami's project no yeah doubt anybody can get even i also get doubt man getting out is uh, that is our human right we no problem always get doubt but solving only is a question we will see how to solve but if what is your opinion sai sir once a year you take this laddu you take this food do and go to village you go and give again when are you going next to dasara that is in far so whole year they need not eat if you give every day you understand once a year you go and give how is it uh, thing uh, no, no, i feel it's all waste of money waste of time so such a fantastic question a real thought so i was thinking swami i have to answer this guy then first thing i told him was when you enter the village how did they welcome you full of joy and when you go to their house doorstep and they give what was their expression full of joy full ananda do you know why they are waiting this for one year to receive swami's prasadam not kulvant hall at the doorstep and they feel swami is coming to their house and giving that prasad that is the feeling of devotees but you are feeling once a year once a day but you see their feeling their attitude is different your attitude is different okay i understand that they are all happy and they feel that swami is coming to their house and giving but still okay man i'll ask a simple question any time in your life have you given to a beggar some 5 rupees 10 rupees no sir you did not do that no sir no opportunity we did do at all you are made to go to every village 
you are made to by force by default distribute and distribute and distribute and every day you are distributing to 200 300 houses and when you are giving and giving and giving what happens to you habit of giving the attitude of giving becomes more and this Swami is training you for 10 days now when you go for vacation and when a beggar comes and asks, even without a second thought what will you do you take 10 rupees and give him spontaneous overflow of inner feeling that feeling in order to generate in your system he's spending money for you and me so that we change our attitude we change our sense of perception we change a better way of life and we see our love in everyone that is what Swami is doing man I have seen people coming in a posh car in the signal the car stops and the beggar old man comes and taps and yes sir sir like that and this man wants to give him money and what he does he lowers the glass and he searches for coin unfortunately no coins in the car around but the posh car so he looks into his purse he gets 10 rupees he summons the bar the beggar and the beggar comes close to the door ask him for the bowl and he shows the bowl and this man puts 10 rupees picks up 5 rupees coin because he wants to give only 5 rupees he's a rich beggar he's a poor beggar both are gifts why? attitude matters but whereas you will not do that whatever you have you give that is what Baba is doing that is the greatest change that he has brought in this youth why because if that kind of mental acceptance in life mental attitude in life if that age if that is coming the life is taken care his family is taken care everything is taken care and God blessing is always there so that is the beauty of this Rama Seva dear brothers and sisters anything Swami does big or small he touches many aspects there is all around development we always focus on only one thing no Swami has 101 things remote while also he is doing bringing some change so that is the attitude you see this elephant don't tell me this elephant doesn't have the potential the power the strength to just kick its leg and free itself it can do isn't it but why it is not doing you go and ask the mouth and he will tell when it is a calf when it is a baby elephant it used to run around everywhere so in order to control that I used to tie that rope to that pig and the small tries tries cannot escape so mentally accepted what is that I can't escape I am tied up but the elephant is going transformation remember I told you transformation is taking place inner strength is not taking place so elephant will not escape because it feels oh I am tied up I cannot escape even though it is mightier than that we are all in our life we are tied up with our ego our self I I everything I I the more you tied up you are engulfed then you are owned by your ego that is why Swami says remove that ego and in order to remove that ego these are the sas which Swami always gives you know singing bhajans doing grand seva gram seva whatever it is not your work you are doing someone else's work that brings change in you but how it's supposed to be surrender to God when you surrender to God you are engulfed by his love when you are engulfed by his love he is watching you he will take care this is what we all need to do that we all need to practice that okay so now to wind up we started with believe in love I see the light I believe there is light be in love I am the light I am in light become light then 
you become light. Become love becomes light. So believe in love, I see the light. Be in love, I am in the light. And become love, I am the light. So Swami always wants all of us to evolve, both physically, spiritually, mentally, all round we have to do that. So here, with this, I would like to uh, end by last one small, very sentimental thing which I tell you is in my life, I moment I was, uh, I, I joined from uh, 77, I never stepped out, I'm always with Swami and whatever Swami says, I put priority. I told you, you know, Swami used to take care of me. And 79, Swami said, don't ask any money from your parents. You are my son, I will take care. And every time when Swami leaves Prashanti Lilam to go to Brindavan or Mumbai or anywhere he goes out, he will put money in an envelope. He will lick it like that and paste it and give to warden. It is Sai ki wu. Give to Sai. Vadi ki papam, erkatti ki, dobi ki, soap ki, vadi ki dabba wali. Give him. Every time he used to give 1,000, 2,000. During that time, I'm talking about 79, 80. Swami has so much of work, so many things to do. But he will never forget every soul he remembers. That is why he is divine. He brought me up like that. He paid my S bill. He paid my college fees then. We used to pay college fees because we were under Venkateshwara University. We used to pay examination fees. Swami used to take care of everything. And Guru Purnima, Dasara, and Swami's birthday. Swami used to call me and give me one pair of clothes and give tailoring charge also. That Swami brought me up and I was brought up like that. So from the day for me, Swami, let love lead my life. I just follow you. To love and to be loved is very important. When I didn't want to get married and she also didn't want to get married, Swami connected both of us. And Swami always in front of parents, Era Penches Kuntawa said, No, in front of, no, no, Swami, no, 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 Penli. Hey, parents want to, Cheskora, parents want you to settle down, get married. No, 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 Swami, because Swami expects that. Really. No, 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 Swami. Then if you say yes, after interview room, he will call you, Buddhi Ledu, Chi, dogs, donkeys, are they also like that only? You want marry ya, marriage ya, chi, chi, like that he will give. So we know the other side of the coin. No, 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 Swami, no, 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 Swami, no, 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 Swami, we do that. This is how Swami taught and mother, Swami has seen my mother, my mother was going to school from that time she has seen Swami and she is very free. So that day Swami called and Swami said, we did I said, no, Swami, my mother straight away went and told Swami, if he gets married, it seems you will feel upset. Huh? Who said, Vida Chapad Swami, my mother is free and frank. Because I told my mother, see Swami won't like, don't go and disturb Swami, just leave it. My mother is very open. Swami, you will get, uh, why I get upset if he gets married? Huh? It says you will get upset if I get married. Hey, Nyanatla Chapana, Swami will say. Did I tell like that? Oh, Amma, what are you doing in front of everybody? So that is how our relationship was with Swami. Finally, Swami said, this April you must get married. If you don't get married, you will never get married. This is my Agni. And then Swami took Akshata and said, Kalyana Praktirasu, some soka he told him, made me fall and finish the game. The other side, the lady didn't want to get married. She's from a very posh family. She drives her own car. 40 kilometers she drive. She'll get up morning 3.30, she'll get up. She's the only devotee in her family. Everybody is Shirdi Baba. Not Sai Baba. This is both Babas. So she will drive down all the way 40 kilometers and she has got one adopted school and she will do in Brindan Sevadal work, every any work, anything that you do. So once she took her children and then Swami looked at her and uh, uh, get married. She said, no Swami. Why? We don't know who is coming and if he is not Swami devotee and uh, I am not happy. I want, I love you Swami. I want to do service. I want to be like this only Swami. I don't want marriage. And then Swami said, Buddhi Ledu, get married. I will give my boy to you. Eh, very good offer, no? Swami said, I will give my boy to you. 
so she stopped for some time. And then again, I don't like you coming, driving 40 kilometers every day to do service. I want you to come to Puttaparthi and stay with me. That is why I am getting you married. Ah, offer is very nice. <laughs> I never saw her. She never saw me. We didn't meet each other. And Swami fixed all the wedding, date, Mangal Sutra, everything he did. And then that is how Swami united us. And we are, we have lived with Swami. And that is the uh, beautiful uh, blessings of Bhagavan. And that is the time Swami told me, I wanted one BHK. Because they are from posh family. We lived in hostel, we can manage anywhere. Lady coming from outside Pash family, it's difficult. And you know Puttaparthi, only one room. You turn right kitchen, turn left bathroom, turn about outside. Such a small room and how this lady will stay. And all that was my doubt. So I wanted Swami to bless me and I didn't go. I stayed back in Vrindavan. Swami sent word to Bhatia, why that a college open is still here? So he came, Swami wanted you to go to Puttaparthi. Sir, where will I go, sir? Why? As usual, summer vacation over, you have to go. Sir, all these years I was staying in hostel. Can I take my wife to hostel? What an one allow me, sir? I can't go. So what an No, Swami has to give me accommodation. Then he went and told Swami, Ah, unni unnadu, unni. Tell him to go and ask unni. He will give accommodation. I came. You, Swami is telling, go and ask. Unni ginni and all, no sir, Swami has to give. Why? Because Unni if he gives, when the owner comes, I have to go to shed. I don't want all that. If Swami gives, I am permanent. Otherwise, I am impermanent. No chance. Then again, he went and told Swami, you won't believe my dear brothers and sisters. Next day, Swami started after morning bhajan. And Swami took shrinkler also, the time Swami, shrinkler. He also, Swami took, went there. And immediately we followed, both of us followed, went to accommodation office, a room, and then I wrote a letter. And at that time, then Narayanan was the secretary. I wrote a letter and I told, Sir, please accommodation. If possible, you ask the staff quarters, uh, there is at least one BHK, nobody will disturb me. I am married, you know, no, Sir, like this, like this. Yeah, I understand, but I cannot ask. If Swami raises the issue, then I, not, I can ask, but otherwise I cannot ask. I said, Okay, Sir. And then immediately, I wrote a letter, and lunchtime, Swami was reading the letter through Kaildas. And then Swami, Narayan, Sai Sureshu, Pindlicheskuni Ochadu. He got married and came. He wants accommodation. Uh, Swami, if you say, he took the opportunity. Staff waters too, portion is empty, we can give. Ah, no, 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 no. They are young couple. Don't give outside. Let them stay inside ashram. He will ask you ground floor, don't keep ground floor, keep top floor, give central trust room, open the kitchen for him. Yes, Swami. Hey, you call him to your office until you are giving. Don't tell him I told all this. <laughs> <coughs> yes, yes. So all over. But our gentleman, he called me and he has to be frank, frank and free with me. Why? His son is my student. You see, it's also there is a link program. So he, then he says, Sai, do you know the amount of love that Swami is having? He explained everything and what you are supposed to get also, he told. And in the end, he said, I am giving and Swami is not involved in this. Hey, don't write letter. If you write letter, my accommodation will go. He said. <laughs> I said, okay, fine, Swami, like that. So that is how the next day after morning bhajan, Swami went back. I felt that it's just the drive, just come and bless me. And that is how I got W9, D16. We stayed for 19 years there. And the most important thing, one day in the Bhajan Hall, initially, Ray, Nen Unin Tavaruku, no Nato Hundu. Sam Mochinapudu, Nik Nen M. Chealo, Ne Anni Estanu. So far as I am living here, you live with me. When the time comes, whatever that I am supposed to do for you and your family, I will do, he said. Stupid mind, I didn't understand. 
what it meant. So I said, yes, Swami, like that. Then, 2011, my wife was telling, we are here, going to retire on property, at least we'll buy outside. So we went there, we wanted to buy one property. We went there and asked Swami, and Swami called us to Ejur Mandir, and, uh, and sent word through duty brother, tell him to bring his wife, tell him to bring his son from the hostel, I will bless the family. And at the time we bought a car, and car also Swami was blessing. And that is the time when I asked Swami, can I buy a property? And Swami gave me permission, and then Swami told me buy. Before that, Swami explained about the property. It was only columns were there, no rooms. Swami said, as soon as you enter, you have a dining hall. Big, big glass windows, very spacious, very ventilation, buy that property. How much is that? Swami, 25 lakhs. Anta costly, ya. Swami said. Yes, Swami, Puttaparthi has gone. Okay, okay, buy. And Swami gave me instruction, make a thing and shift. And Swami gave me the date, February 20th, 2011. February 20th, Swami said, that's the last Muhurtam, shift. I shifted. 20th March, hospitalized. April, left us. That time, this stupid mind recollected, you stay with me as far as I'm staying here. When the time comes, I will do what I'm supposed to do for you, your family. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, 20 years ahead, he knows what is what. I'm telling you, it is challenge even for God to live like God. Do you know why? God knows the future, but still to take avatar, how much Rama would have felt, his wife will be kidnapped. Imagine, how much I would have thought, next month I will not be here. Imagine, that is this love. So all my love to this beautiful God and all of us, please, we are very, very fortunate to be born when he is there. Very fortunate to get to know of him. Very fortunate to live with him, talk to him, touch him and enjoy all the grace and all the bliss. Life is a gift. 84 lakhs of species and he got this gift. Last, after this again it should not become ant or snake. We should become divine. Don't get into deep wine. Become divine. So, today's takeaway. What you are, God's gift to you. Whatever today we are, it is God's gift to you. But what you become in this life will become your gift to God. So let us all love this God and share the same love to everyone sanctify our life and all of us today giving me the opportunity and going back into my memory lane and to live with this beautiful Lord I pray Swami to bless each and every one of you profusely and to be with you all the time and have great great year ahead happy new year to all of you Jai Sairam and thank you for this wonderful opportunity Sairam <laughs>